All right, guys. Hey, how are you doing? So I want to say thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't yet already subscribed, liked this video, and left a comment, I'm going to try. I, I don't know why the last couple of videos haven't had any comments. All right. The comments were turned off. I guess that's a new thing on uh, YouTube. But yeah, thank you so much. Also, follow my social medias at John D. Clouser. Uh, they're all going to be in the description. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and enjoy this little clip and then we'll get into the podcast. Wash your hands and don't eat snakes. Hello, my name is Lisa Ann White Whitmer Wagman. I just moved here because I'm getting a divorce. And it's not final till September 18th. My husband will not give me any money. Not one penny. The lawyer won't help me. My husband won't help me. My dad, Marlon Lee Whitmer, he's a minister, won't help me. My stepmother won't help me. My mother passed away seven years ago. And my dad and Annie Hockhausen, they wrote at Vera French that they both are my parents. Annie is my stepmom. I'm not quite sure why I'm here or what I'm doing, but there's a reason. My lawyer is Justin Title. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. I'm moving down to Texas soon to help the children in Texas. I'm a very loving parent, very, very, very loving parent. I have a 20-year-old daughter. She's going to college at St. Ambrose this fall. She's in Muscatine College right now. Her name's Brianna Elizabeth. and. She is not helping me because she's 20. She's scared. She doesn't want her parents to separate or divorce. Ma'am, we're discussing the rezoning for the Portillo's. Do you have any comments on that? For what? We're discussing the rezoning on 53rd for... Well, I live on 63rd. Again, we're here to hear comments about the rezoning. Well, I don't like Facebook, and I don't like the Internet because I can't find a job. The library blocked my password. Now tell me, does that make any sense to you? Ma'am... We're not here to discuss your personal life. I'm sorry. Do you have any comments about the rezoning? No, sir. Have Thank a good you. day. Thank you. Next. Okay. Second time is the charm. All right, all right, all right. Hello guys, what's going on? So this is a new episode of the podcast, uh, my podcast. If you're not familiar with me, I am John D. Clouser, and my podcast is called The John Show, which is surprisingly not taken. I would think it's such a generic title, and that's the purpose why I did it, because it was either going to be that or it was going to be John, 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 which I think that's going to be my e my website. is going to be John, 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 John dot com, because surprisingly that one isn't taken either. So, how are you guys? How are you guys doing? Are you guys doing well? Are you guys live still? Because uh, this fucking corona thing has apparently gotten, it got quickly shoved into very serious, I guess. Because there's no fucking toilet paper. There's no food. There's nothing. There's just like distilled water. And it's, what surprises me about that is the fact that like, water's not the fucking problem. Water's not the problem. It's like, it's uh, people not washing their hands. Because like there's statistics saying that like 60% of males, 60% of males don't wash their hands after they take a dump. You know how gross that is? You know how disgusting, how disgusting that is? 
It is awful. But talking about the coronavirus, so I thought I got it this week. This is a great story. Maybe I did. If I did, it'll also make for a great story. So the uh, Friday, I woke up Friday morning and I was like, oh, God, I do not feel good whatsoever. And I went to the bathroom, had diarrhea. I apologize, but that's what it was. And then I went to work and at work I threw up water because I like was I'm like, no, I'm not really that hungry. I'm like, I'll just have some sparkling water. So I had sparkling flavored water and it was peach and ginger, which was delicious by the way, but it was awfully, it was ruined because I kept throwing it up. And then I had to do a diarrhea again. And then I actually tell you the truth before I even left the house, I had to be at work at nine. So by the time nine o'clock happened, I had already done two diarrheas. So two diarrheas, one throw up. This is the story. And then I got to work. I did one throw up at the, I did one throw up. That's the first throw up was at work. And then I did my work, blah, 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 went on my day. And then I'm like, oh God, I need to go to the bathroom. So I did an, another uh, poop. So it's three diarrheas. So three diarrheas to just one throw up. And then I threw up tw- two more times after that later on in the day. And so by the last time I threw up was at about, I would say 430. It was like almost 430. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, I'm done. And I'm like, I have to go home. Cause if I don't go home, I'm just, it's, this is miserable. This is awful. And then I'm like, I was in my mind, I'm like thinking, I'm like, oh my God, what if I do have it? But I'm like, I can't have it because I'm like, I don't have a fever. I didn't feel sick or anything. It just felt like food poisoning to me. That's what it felt like. And and but then like I was started doing like research online and like Tom Hanks had the same thing. So I had I had chills, but I didn't have sweats. I just was like kind of I'm like Ugh, like I'm like, Ugh, I just don't I feel kind of achy like my joints and things. And then I didn't feel good in my stomach. I couldn't I kept throwing up. I had diarrhea, and so I was just thinking like what the fuck could this be? I'm like this has to be just this has to be just food poisoning. But Tom Hanks had the same damn things. And Tom Hanks has fucking. Uh, Corona virus right now and I'm like what the living fuck I'm like John you just if this if this is how I'm gonna go out I'm like well I honestly thought I'm pretty dumb I look at myself as not the most intelligent person in the fucking world and so when I'm sitting here thinking I'm like wow there's many ways I thought I was gonna go out in this world I did not think Corona would be the thing that was gonna take me out but I felt like off I felt awful I got home I just went to bed. Actually, I took a shower. I got a really hot shower. And after that, I went to bed and I just slept till the, I slept like, till like, like I think 830 the next day. So I got home at like 530, six o'clock. Let's say I kind of, I fell asleep fully at 630. So 630 PM on Friday, all the way till about 8 AM, 830, nine, nine ish. Let's say around there. Saturday morning and I felt great. I was like, uh, I, I felt still kind of achy. I'm like, uh, I'm like uh, I don't feel the best. And then I was like, you know, no big deal. I'm like, just like, like, uh, and then I, I just kind of got up. I did some like computer work and I, you know, I did that for about, you know, an hour and a half. I drank a cup of coffee, felt fine. Then I went, I lay back down. I took another nap, woke up about like two and I felt fine. I was completely fine. So if I did get it, I just completely burnt myself out of it. I, I just was like, nope. And the thing is what the great thing about me is like, I feel like I have a, a very good immune system. And the reason is because I was born in a great country called Honduras. And there is a third world country. And when you have third world blood going through you, you're not really scared of a lot of stuff when it comes to like the like sicknesses and viruses and stuff. It's like, dude, we we deal with that shit all the time. That's nothing. This is absolutely nothing for for me. Corona. Corona's like on a Corona's on a Wednesday. No big deal. And so long story short, I might have got it, might not have got it. Uh I don't think I did. I honestly really don't because eh, like I'm not in the demographic of the people that are gonna get it. And I didn't have any of like the major symptoms. I didn't have the sweats. I didn't have like a a sore nose. I didn't have like a, a runny nose. I didn't have like trouble breathing. It was none of that. I just honestly just, I just kept throwing up water and I didn't want to eat and I just had diarrhea. And I apologize if you are offended by that, but 
I don't know, not offended by grossed out by that, but it's like it's poop. And talking about poop, it's a great actual great segue. So something talking about also being from the third world. This is a third world thing. I really do feel like, and this is going to show like I was adopted. I got adopted by probably like the the most whitest people ever. And this is how white they are. We had bidets growing up. And if you're not familiar with the day is, it's pretty much like it sits next to your toilet and you use water, hot water or cold water to wash your butthole. And that's what you do. And then like we had towels, like we had towels that are just directly um, th- for that. And things like you'd wash off all the poop. So like the towel was just wet and like you just made sure you had a really good hygiene. And that's the weirdest thing because, like, that's how I grew up. I always grew up with that stuff. So, like, toilet paper was never really that big of a, de- like, a big thing in my house. And so what makes me, what blows me away is, like, why don't people have more bidets? Like, you know, that completely get rid of the whole thing of, like, the toilet paper stuff. And it really blows my mind because, like, bidets aren't that expensive. They're really not. They, like, the cheapest one, like, I saw one today on Amazon Prime. You get it for, like, eight bucks. I probably want to get that one because it's going to probably crap out on you no pun intended pretty soon but like you can get like the ones that are like next to the like those ones are a little bit more expensive and like those are the ones i had i had growing up like it was just normal like we just always my dad was like no if we're gonna have this house we gotta have uh we gotta have a day in it if we don't we're not gonna get this house i swear to god my that's what my dad would say all the time it was just like he insisted on it. My mom was like, okay. And then we just kind of like, I didn't know any better. So that's what I did. And it was, it worked out for me. And I've, I've been completely fine. It's just like, it's to me, it seems so barbaric to wash your butthole with or smear your butthole with toilet paper when you can just like use water and spray your butthole instead. And what's so crazy, there's like, there's some people that think it's gay. I don't know what, why am I talking so soft about it now, but it's like people talk about how it's like so gay. Like oh, I would never wash my butthole. It's like that's super important. Like washing your butthole is super super important. And I just don't understand. Like even like the minimum minimum baby wipes. Baby wipes is a minimum, and then toilet paper in like a rough circumstance. Like I'm like but like you should never put yourself in a rough circumstance like that. You're an adult. You pay taxes, so you should be able to like have a little pack. A little packet of wet wipes or a little packet of baby wipes in your in your bag or a fanny pack. Like I carry on a fanny pack, I carry on a backpack, I carry around like stuff like so I can have this stuff. Like and you gotta prepare for it. Like and this might be like my third world like weirdness is that I'm always super afraid of things of I, I panic in that sense. I'm like, I don't always, I never want to be not prepared for something. So I always have a backup to a backup to a backup of something. Like I have like a charger, but that charger has like two cords and another base to it. Like I have like two of everything in my bag. It's the weirdest. It's super weird. But for me, like I, I'm, I never, I'm never in a place where I'm like, fuck, I don't have anything. So that might be something you should think about doing too but i know i'm weird i'm super weird in that sense i'm also super weird in the sense i always feel like i need to uh, acknowledge the little door so this little door actually leads into like a storage area so that's really what it is it i'm i'm assuming that no one would ever notice or anyone actually everyone whenever they come over to the studio they're always like where did the little baby door come from what does that do i'm like oh it's just to a storage area which actually to tell you the truth would be a perfect place if it had insulation and you get like a little heater in there, a little heater and like a little air conditioner because it gets super hot in there during the summer. It gets like super cold in there during the winter. But it'd be a perfect place to do podcasting. Be in, it's actually pretty like once you get in there, it's kind of like anal. It's like it's it, it, it's a little hole into a big room. It's basically what it is. It's a little door to a big room. So and that's kind of what anal's like, too. Anyway, so. I guess that's like two of my main stories that I wanted to talk about tonight. And there was a third one that I wanted to do. Oh, yeah. So something that I've noticed recently, and I don't know if it has to do with the, the coronavirus or it has to do with the fact that like guy, guys are just weird. So in the gym, we have locker rooms and the locker rooms have lockers, like a bunch of lockers. No big deal, like a bunch of them. And well you have also like showers so there's like eight showers and like they have curtains and everything like that and like most of the time people just get naked next to their locker and then they 
take a towel or they have their boxers and they walk to the um, showers or people, if they don't take a shower, they just change in like next to the locker and it's like no big deal. What I've been noticing lately is like there's bathroom stalls. So like the urinals and then there's like sit down like actual toilets and like, you know, each one of those are like, you know, like normal, like you block them off. I hate this chair now because it always, it always sinks down now. It's a piece of shit chair. I broke it somehow. I don't know how, what I did, but I, I sat on it too many times. And I fucking broke it. And <laughs> what these guys are doing is that they're, they're going and they're walking into the stalls, the bathroom stalls, and they're changing in there. So like they're taking their shoes off, put like in their, like in the bathroom, bathroom area, they have like their socks or they have their bare feet touching the ground in there. And I think that's so, I think that's so one, I think it's gross Two, I think it's really fucking weird because I don't understand like what your game plan is. Like, are you like, what are you hiding? Like, what are you scared of? Like, why are you doing that? And it's, it's really, really odd to me that you would do that. Like, it's so gross to think about just having your socks and like those socks are going to go in your shoes and like your shoes are going to go in your house and like all that fungus. I don't know. I am always just thinking in my head, like all that fungus is going to just go up in the air and it's going to just go around your house and then you're going to have that all in your house and it's all because like you just wore your socks in the bathroom stall instead of just standing next to your next to your locker and just doing it there and i'm not saying like it's nice carpet but it's carpet it's decent carpet i mean if you really are that like grossed out by the carpet and don't put your socks next like on it you can get they have towels so you take a towel that's been cleaned and then you use that and like at least there's a barrier and you keeping your socks clean because I don't know for me I don't like having dirty socks and putting them into my nice shoe my nicer shoes that I like my nicer Nikes. So I understand like if there's someone I and so if I think like this there has to be other people who think like this too. So I can understand that and that's all you have to do. Well, you just take this a few extra steps and you're done. But I don't understand why you'd go into the to the stall to the stall where people's peed where people's pooped where people's probably thrown up like I did on on um on Friday like you just have these are just gross things and uh, ugh, it just so it just, it just grosses me out and like those guys are probably the same guys that like take dumps in public toilets and don't flush people who don't flush in public toilets are gross like you're the worst people ever you're the worst people because th- that's like that's that that doesn't cause Corona, but it doesn't help it. So don't do that, please. For the love of God, don't do that. And like, there's also, have you noticed that there's like these incubators now, like women can go and breastfeed their babies in bathroom and like in airports. It's the weirdest fucking thing, but I understand it actually kind of makes sense to do it. And they're just a sense of hygiene wise. I don't know, maybe, but I'm like thinking also too, like it might not be like, I'm just thinking because it might be for the coronavirus. But I'm also thinking like, well, they're going to be walking around anyway in the coronavirus and they're breathing it in. So it's, but why do you travel with an infant? I don't understand people who travel with infants and travel with babies because I think that's absolutely, absolutely stupid. Absolutely dumb. So dumb. But, uh, so I think that's the three things I wanted to talk about mostly. So I guess we should go and talk or, uh, do some things. Uh, misconnections. You guys want to do some misconnections? This is my favorite thing to do. Um, these ones, I usually what I do is I'll pick a couple out, and I will just those are the ones I do instead. Of I, so it kind of doesn't waste time by me uh, having to like sit here and you guys have to watch me find one. So I've already found pretty some some already already selected, and I'm going to share them with you. And uh, if you're not familiar with misconnections, it's a beautiful place on Craigslist that you go and it has these guys mostly guys it's i'm gonna say 98 percent men and maybe like two percent women will go on this little section of the internet and write these moments where they had with somebody or something that they want for they want something like a fetish and then they just write about it and it's the greatest thing in the world so let's start this And I'm drinking Keystone Light this tonight, and the thing is with Keystone Light, I do not like it. I don't not I do not think it's a good beer at all. I think it's absolutely disgusting. 
But the thing is, it was a 15 pack for the price of a 12 pack. And so I was like, as you know, as a Jew, I was just kind of like, I kind of have to do this just based on eth- ethics and just based on money. Just like, it just makes more sense to do it this way. But let's go into Craigslist misconnections. First one, curious West Plaza Plaza is the Kansas City, downtown Kansas City area. I'm part of it. 32 year old male, straight white male looking for a trans woman experience. Interesting. You know, I'm not like it's so weird. Like I, I, I would think there'd be better ways of going about this than going on Craigslist for like a, a tranny experience. That's cool. Like if you want to do a tranny, that's, that's good for you. And I don't care. Like I don't under, like it's not that I don't understand it. It's like, you know, do you, if you want to do that, do it. Not my thing, but pff, whatever. Next one. So, uh, looking for a lost friend, North Kansas city, Gladstone. Uh, I'm looking for a lost friend. He lived in the Gladstone area. See, and the other great thing about these are is like, sometimes they're the most, like the, the most stupid things you ever see because like, there's no, there's no backstory. There's nothing. And most of the time there's too much backstory and there's a lot of everything that you don't need to know. But when it's ever these, it's like, why would you even waste your time doing this? Like, why would, it seems like a waste of your time and it's not gonna really help you any at all. Um, all right. So we'll go to the next one. Uh, okay. This is actually, I love this one. So when I was talking to you guys about how like there's like fetishes and stuff like that, or like like those kind of things. And like, you can go on misconnections to get that. This is one of them. So hot wives, question mark, river market area says, uh, where did all the hot wives go? Question mark. <laughs> I have, I can host at my place, bring her over. It's like, so this is, this is interesting. So this guy just wants hot wives to come over and he's going to bang them. While the husband watches, and this was this was posted oh sixteen days ago. I was like, is this like sixteen hours ago? But it wasn't, huh? Interesting. You know what? These ones are kind of like weak compared to like the normal ones that are uh, normal all the time. And plus, like too, like these. This might be something I might cut out because um, these are always just funny because I like seeing people's reaction to it because it's funny to me. But like, it's like I'm I'm just laughing because I think it's funny. But like, it's funnier to like funnier yeah funnier to see someone else's reaction when i have them on my podcast so i think that this might be something that when i do guests and i get this down and i get like a format how i want it then i think this might be something i might bring back so this might be the last time you see this for a while i have to figure out something else to do probably have to tell like another story or another little segment but it is what it is uh so this last one this is the last one this was really funny for me because i i laughed really hard on this so it's called Missing My Black Woman, Lenexa, Lenexa, Kansas, if you're not familiar with the area. I'm looking for a black woman in the Kansas City area to go on dates, to get to know, to find out about, to have a relationship with, and if the right woman comes along to have a relationship with. If you're interested, please message me. I will, show, I will share pictures if you're interested. Hope to hear from you soon, ladies. These are great because... This is not where women go to uh, get men or to like get men to hit on them. This is not where they go. It's Craigslist misconnections. And it's so gross. Like, would you want a woman who like I found your thing on Craigslist misconnections? Like, and I want to oh, I'm interested. Like, you think this is something and like if you don't or if you're not sharing picture from the start, then there might be something wrong. And like that just as a guy. I'm just talking to you as a guy, because if I was going to do this. I would at least be like, you know, hey, like, it might this might be weird, but like, here's a couple, uh, you know, like, I, I'm looking for this, I'm looking for this lady, and you know, someone I can go on some date with, get to know, like, have a good time, have a friendship with, and you know, maybe a relationship. Like, you know, it's kind of weird that you're doing it on Craigslist misconnections, but you know, that seems harmless. And then you just put, you know, a couple pictures because this makes you seem like you're just a creeper, because you're like. Uh, and I understand, like me, like, and the thing is, you can tell that this is someone who's older. Because someone probably like closer to my age or like younger would probably just post the picture, but nobody like my age or younger uses things like this. We, we can we can either talk to people outside. Actually, we can talk to people outside, or uh, we just have other apps. But actually, interesting thing like guys that are like twenty five now, 
25 years old, they don't have the same sort of disconnect of like having to go out in like social situations and meet people and get their phone numbers and then they had like go on dates and then they break up with each other like normal like how like when I was growing up that's how it happens uh, but what they do is that they don't have that because they go on apps and they have like all these social media things so you're always like you're super connected to people way more than I was when I was that age because at that age we had like MySpace but we didn't have smartphones we had you know you you'd go to school then when you got home you'd get on your facebook or you'd get on your uh like myspace and all that stuff and then you like check it with like the people you talk to who don't who aren't in the same town or the same area as you so there was a there wasn't that direct connection like right away which i found this is i found that really interesting because it's like oh that kind of makes sense because like as good as technology is it also has its shitty points and shitty moments because like it's kind of weird that like we don't like younger the younger generations don't have that ability to just like break up it's like they have that uh stalker syndrome like younger men because they don't have that feeling and like it's it's always in men because men are like weird like that we dudes are so fucking weird because like a lot of what we do is like to come like we try to do stuff to come if it means to working out to like getting our to getting a job all that stuff is like it's all for just the fact that we're trying to get women to like let us fuck them, and it's and you know it's fun, but like when you get out of that situation, it gets fun and it's it's a great time when you're in that and you're just like drunk off your testosterone and you just want to nut all the fucking time. It's fun, but then like then you hit your thirties and you're kind of like I would rather make some money <laughs> and you like I want to do other things. That stuff is fun too, but I want to. So I guess when I lean back, that's when I'm going to lose. Yeah, because it's starting to go. So I don't I can't lean back in this chair. So, um, yeah, I remember those times. I remember being just like completely like drunk off my dick and just like, being like I got to fucking come. I got to come. I got to come. But I'm really not like that anymore. I'm kind of relaxed. I'm more relaxed now. I like more focused on work. Work is good. Work is kind of slow right now because we can't travel because everywhere we go is you can't go there right now. And they don't want us to travel if you don't have to travel. And, but yeah, I guess we're kind of like slowly descending into the ending of this podcast. We have about like literally just four minutes left. Uh, if I want to say again, if you guys gotten this far, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you uh, like comment and subscribe. I hope the comment thing, I hope the comments, I don't know why the comment things have turned, been turned off. I don't understand why they did that. And I don't know if it's because like I put like, it's safe for kids to watch, which I don't know if it is. Cause like I said the F word a lot this episode or, uh, if I did that or if I have to go manually, like put it in there, it's probably a new thing that YouTube did. So yeah, but I want to say thank you for the people who did put a good thumbs up and the people who did watch. You know, the number's small, but it's consistent, and I love that. So, like, that's – that's, and I'm not doing it for this. I'm honestly doing this just to get better for myself to, like – I think it's just a good thing to do things that you're not good at, and I'm not good at doing podcasts by myself. So if I do podcasts by myself, I'm going to get better at it. I'm going to eventually – if you do 100 of these, by the time I do 100, I'm going to at least have some sort of an idea of what I'm doing. Uh, cause like I was, I kept looking down. I have a clock right here that tells me like a time and it just, it counts down. I do about, I do 28 minutes and five seconds. And the five seconds is basically like a, cl- a countdown to be like, all right. And at 28, you want to do 28 solid minutes of talking of a show of some kind. And I got down to about 10 minutes. I'm like, I have, I, John, you're starting to run out. I'm like, I have this whole list of stuff to talk about, but I'm like, I do not know where I'm going to go. I don't know. I I have to figure out, I would have to figure out a segue to get into one of these other like subjects. I feel like the misconnection thing kind of bombed. It wasn't that great. And I was like, what the fuck am I going to do? And I'm like, Oh, and next thing I know I have about two minutes and 20 seconds left. And I'm slowly, uh, going right into the ending of this podcast but dude these are these are fun like and like i get i have to get myself super psyched up for this like game seven moment john let's do this you're gonna fucking do this motherfucker and you just and i just do it and that's the that's the biggest thing is like once you just get into it it takes about a minute two to get like a little rhythm 
But I feel like if I just start rambling really quick, I can just kind of take that momentum. And the next thing I know, I look down, I have like 10 minutes left. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do for the next 10 minutes. And I go from there. But I, uh, yeah, these are fun for me. These are going to be good. By the time I feel like if I keep it at it and I keep mentally thinking about how I can make myself better. And it's not like I sit down and like have like a chalkboard and I break down it like that. I don't. I just like, okay, breathe, relax, look at this, do it. Just talk. Just randomly talk about stuff. Have ideas. Like write down on a piece of paper. This is like a whole idea. My whole. This is like my little idea book. And that's. It took a whole week to get a whole piece of paper written out of weird stuff, of random stuff. I'm like, okay, I'll talk about these three things I really want to talk about. I'll have these sub things I want to talk about, and then I'll just kind of go from there. And I'll have little segments and. I'm really going to have to think about what I want to do. I kind of want to, there's a lot of things I would like to bring in, like a little funny, more of a, like sound bites. I have sound bites that I never use. That, I have a, then like, rub, rub, rub. Like I have that kind of stuff, but I, I don't ever use it. And I'm like, I need to figure out a way to get that in there. But I have about 40 seconds left. I want to say, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, follow me on all my social medias. John D. Klauser. John with an H. D as in David because that's what the D stands for. Klauser. C-L-O-U-S-E-R. It's the same name as if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the same name. So you just go and you, you click that into your Twitter, your Facebook, and your Instagram. And you can just follow me and I'll follow you back. We'll do that. We'll have a great time. I have about 15 seconds left. I love you guys for watching. Thank you guys so much. I just scratched my balls on a camera. I will see you guys on the next episode and that will be episode 4 bye